Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the clap. Anyways, today we're gonna be doing none other than a Ulta haul. So you guys know me, I'm always shopping at Ulta, always picking up new stuff, so I figured I would share with you guys what I got. All right, so uh, let's just get to it. I do have this smaller Ulta bag here. I have been collecting numerous things and just throwing out the bags, um, but this has been over the past couple of weeks, so I figured I would show you guys collectively um, what I've gotten at Ulta over the past few weeks. So first thing I got at Ulta is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've wanted to try this forever. Every time I would go to Ulta, it would be sold out, could not find it anywhere. So when I did see this was in stock, I like grabbed it immediately. And then I went back the next day and it was sold out. So it was like, good thing I finally like got my hands on it. But uh, let's see what the texture feels like. So this is just what the packaging looks like here. A nice matte black with a cat hair on it. So my card was full, couldn't find it, just had to hunt for it for a while, but I finally found it. Anyways, let's open this bad boy and see how it feels. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it just looks so smooth. And I don't even want to touch it, but I'm going to touch it anyway because I want to see how it feels. Ooh. It feels nice and smooth and like... I'm putting it on my hand and it's kind of masking, like creating a barrier for my pores on my hand. Not as, not as much as I thought it would, um, but I mean, I'm still gonna have to try it out because it's supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha. I forget the name of it, but one of the Tatcha products, which I haven't tried, um, but I'm excited to try this one out. I mean, it's only a couple bucks and if it can make my, my makeup application look really flawless and smooth, then I'm definitely up for trying it. Next. We have another Ulta bag. Okay, so next I picked up some sheet masks. Some of them were actually on clearance, so I got an awesome deal on those. First mask I picked, first mask I picked up is this Miss Spa 24 karat gold facial sheet mask. So I've never tried this before, um, but I mean it's gold, so it's gotta be good. It says it leaves your skin richly hydrated and it leaves skin glowing. So I'm all for that. Gonna have to try it out. I think it was like a couple bucks. Um, so yeah, let's try it and see how I like it. Next, I picked up these pomegranate Tony Moly elasticity masks. These were actually on clearance, so I think I got them for like a buck. Um, which is awesome, but I'm all for like collagen and plumping and smoothing. So I decided to try these out. So next from Ulta, I picked up these new hot, hot heat eyeshadow palettes from LA Girl. These are just what the packaging looks like. Super, super fun palm trees, colorful. I love it. So this is what the blue and purple palette looks like. Super pretty. We have a lot of matte shades. We have some shimmers in there. Um, they actually swatched really, really nice in store, so I think I want to do a first impressions, like, tutorial with one of these palettes. But yeah, the colors are so pretty. I thought they would be really nice to wear during summer. So I'm going to swatch a couple of these shades just so you guys can see how pigmented they are. So here are just a couple shades from the palette. If you guys can see those, they swatched so nice and buttery, like, I barely put my finger into the palette and these had so much payoff so that's super exciting. So this is just what the purpley palette looks like. We have some really fun pinks, purples, oranges. I thought these would look so nice with the tan especially during the summertime. Again I really want to play around with these maybe do a tutorial. So if you guys would want to see a tutorial on like either of these palettes, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And both of these palettes, I believe, were only like $14.99, which is phenomenal because they are so pigmented. So next, I just picked up a couple lip products from LA Girl. First, I have the Ultimate Lip Liner in Keep It Spicy. This is actually the lip liner that I'm wearing today. Obsessed. Super pretty color. And then I also picked up two glosses. So the first gloss that I picked up is in the shade Plush. Really pretty soft nude shade. I think that'll look really, really nice with pretty much any lip. And then we have this super gorgeous fun shade. This is a golden, kind of like a um, like yellowy gold shade. It's in the shade Fancy. And these are plumping lip glosses too, so I'm super excited to see how well those work. Okay, so next I picked up two items from Laura Geller. 
So my Ulta had all of the Laura Geller products on sale. They were all 75% off, I believe, which is an awesome, awesome deal. So I picked up two items. The first one I picked up is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. I really love her gelato highlighters. They're so pretty. This one's a really pretty, like, opalescent kind of whitish pink highlight. Really, really gorgeous. I also picked up this set, which is the Glow Your Own Way, and this is the Gilded Honey collection. So this just comes with an extra large Gilded Honey Gelato Swirl Illuminator, which is my absolute favorite, like one of my absolute favorite highlighters. So I was super excited for that. And then it also comes with a Gilded Honey Lip Gloss, which is just a really gorgeous, luscious, kind of golden peachy lip which you all know I love my lip glosses, so I was super excited for this. And for the two of these, it came up to, I think, like, like five or six bucks, which is awesome. You cannot beat that at all. So next, I just picked up a couple of items from the new collection from Wet n Wild. I think it's, like, called the Crystal Collection, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I don't know why my voice just got so high. Um, <laughs> anyways... I picked up the setting spray. This is in Aurora, or yeah, I think that's right, Booster. So that's just what that looks like there. I also picked up one of the trios, which is in Amethyst. A lot of really pretty shimmery purple shades. I also picked up the highlight, which is a really soft white highlight. Thought it was really, really pretty. Next, I just picked up a Too Faced Glitter Glue, because I lost mine. Super upset, um, but I love this stuff, so I had to pick another one up. So next, I just picked up one of the new Urban Decay brow products. This is their Brow Blade. Um, it's a waterproof pencil and ink stain. So I thought that sounded really interesting. It has a pencil on one side, and then it has kind of like a felt tip on the other. So I thought that would be really cool and different to play around with and to see what I could like achieve with my brows with it. So next I picked up the new First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. This is just what the packaging looks like here. So here it is outside of the box. It feels really nice and kind of moisturizing and like hydrating on my hand. So I'm gonna have to play around with it and see how I like it. It kind of smells like cucumbers though, which I'm not a fan of cucumbers, um, so hopefully I can get over the scent. Next, I picked up one of the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love lipsticks in the shade Taupe. Let's swatch this bad boy and see how he swatches. So it swatches really nice and like moisturizing. Ooh, I really like that shade. So here's just what it looks like swatched on my hand. And again, this is in the shade Taupe. Next, I just picked up this Stila Beauty Boss Lip Glass, or Lip Gloss, in the shade Blue Sky. So it's just a super fun purpley blue lip gloss. I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera, but super pretty um, kind of iridescent lip gloss. It shifts between the purple and the blue and I thought that was super fun. So next I just picked up some of the new crystallized always on liquid eyeshadows from Smashbox. I picked up the shades Bronzite Brugia and the shade Rondi. Oh my gosh, I'm so pronouncing these wrong. Um, Ron, Ron, Rondo Night Stand. Uh, yeah. I am so obsessed with the packaging of these. They each have a crystal on top, which is absolutely stunning. So these are the shades that I got. So we have a really pretty kind of pale golden, and then we also have a goldy peach shade. So I thought these would both look really, really stunning on the eye just for some pop of sparkle. Again, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there are just some quick swatches on my hand. I also just picked up a Urban Decay pencil in the shade Demolition. Really nice, soft brown shade. So I picked up one of the Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Glossy Lips in, from Colourpop in Phew. I just thought this would be super fun and different to try out um, over top of like a nude lip. I think it'll look um, really different and kind of unique. And then lastly, I just picked up one of the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Spoiler Alert. 
So it's a super pretty soft mauve shade, like a mauve purple. I thought this would look really nice with either a simple eye or a kind of dusty, smoky eye. And I absolutely love the formula of these. They're just so nice and buttery and just creamy. That's just what spoiler alert looks like. So I did get some fun items in my last haul as well. I'm going to link that somewhere in this video if you guys want to check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And until my next one, bye!